Well, summer is here. That means the boots are in the closet. You're wearing your sandals. It's no wonder we need to take special care of our tootsies. Let's face it. We all take care of our skin. We're a culture obsessed with creams and makeups and facial. You look beautiful. But now the focus is moving down to our feet. For good reason. The summer months are when our toes are most exposed. Which explains why pedicure and podiatry appointments have already increased up to 30%. Taking care of our feet only helps us walk the average 10,000 steps we take every day. So it's only fitting that we're finally focusing on our feet and putting our best foot forward. And Dr. Suzanne Levine from Institute Beauté is here to give us some real great advice about what we can do with common problems about our feet in the summer months, correct? Yes. Well, feet are the new face. There's no question about it. And the number one problem we see is blisters. Ah, uh, all right. Well, wait, wait, wait. Let's go straight to common problems then. Okay, where do you find blisters mostly on your feet? Usually in the back of the heel, and you might even find it on the bottom of your foot. On the bottom. Okay, right. so we're talking about blisters that, that have sacks of fluid, fluid, right? It can be so painful because because what you're doing is you're exposing your feet, you're wearing sandals, you're not wearing socks, and you're developing some frictional forces. Okay, what can we do to prevent them from happening, and then what do we do if we get them? Okay, number one, prevention. You want to definitely cream your feet. There's some fabulous products here. There's a Barriel cream. Moisturize your feet. Make sure you pick shoes that are appropriate, that fit you properly, and you have all these wonderful products now. Band-Aid came up with a new product. You roll it on, and it protects the skin. Mm -hmm. So the key is prevention. Right. But when you have the blister there's some other products here that you can use and even a band-aid you know this is the time of year everybody just slaps, slaps that band-aid right on. on right okay so here's the big question can you pop a blister Ye yes but try to avoid it okay. try to avoid popping it only if it's real painful and then you want to definitely use some sterile products you want to use alcohol a sterile needle try to avoid the blister moisturize your feet and wear appropriate size shoes okay well let's move on now we're going to talk about corns now I know that corns can actually be very very painful how what we do about avoiding them oh god that's like right there that's okay. a corn people well you could see Nell has a painful corn and the reason she has that corn is that she's over her foot's rolling in too much wearing tight shoes she right. loves stylish high heel shoes like you and I yes exactly and what do you do when you have that corn well you could use there's a Dr. Scholl product that you can use drop uh -huh. a little salicylic acid pumice it off don't use a blade make right. sure not to use a blade we've seen a lot of infections and if it's very very serious you want to definitely see your doctor they could apply some very strong acids in the office. Okay, and yes, they can get very painful and serious, which means you should see a doctor and not try and take care right. of it yourself. Okay, let's move on, because this is actually something I didn't know about. Let's talk about nail discoloration and fungus. Blah. Nail discoloration, I didn't realize that in the winter months when we're wearing darker nail polish, we are discoloring our nails. Sometimes they turn yellow from the nail polish. They actually do. A lot of times, as you can see, she's wearing red nail polish. Winter months, we use red, brown. All the dyes get absorbed in the nail. It's very hard then to take the nail polish off and apply a very light color. You might want to use some nail lightening creams. Uh -huh. And if you have a fungus, there's a great product by Blaine. It's actually an antifungal nail product. But the why, most, why are women getting so much nail fungus? Because what we're doing is we're having more and more pedicures. As aging baby boomers, we, our feet start to hurt. Right. It feels just terrific to go and have a, a, a pedicure. But you have to be careful. Before you put your feet in that water, do the look and see test. Right. Make sure that they use sterile instruments. Bring your own instruments. Including bleach? B believe it or not, wow. it's a good idea to even bring a little bleach with you or some betadine solution. Right. Just put it in a little plastic container and put and it in the water with you. before okay. submerging your feet. So don't forget that. And okay. let's also just move on. I want to talk about the really the most serious foot condition, which is a bunion. And we got a big bunion right there. Oh. Now, I did not realize that is actually a type of arthritis, right? It, Bone degeneration. Well, it is a type of arthritis, and I'm sure somebody in your family has it, yeah. your mother or your father. So this is hereditary. This is not caused by fashionable shoes. Right. But fashionable shoes will aggravate the condition. Now, there's some things you can do to actually alleviate this condition mm -hmm. before rushing off and having surgery. Number one, you could use an orthotic device that lifts up the arch a little. And more important, you can actually use some of these devices that stretch the toe, bring, bring the toe over. And is that a bunion splint? It's a bunion splint, right. Okay. right? You can certainly use that. 
And if it really becomes painful, of course, you can see a podiatrist and have it surgically corrected. There's lots of changes that have taken place in surgery. It is inconvenient getting back into the shoes, but it's not, there's not a lot of pain. Okay, great. Thank you so much. We, we really appreciate that. Also, remember, bunions can be serious, and you may want to go and see your doctor. You might need surgery. After this, you'll, coming up, you'll see that foods that actually make your bones and your feet healthy. Take care. We'll be right back.